Let us now compare what all happens in C3 plants and C4 plants. First point with, uh, which we want to compare is carbon dioxide acceptor. In C3 plants, carbon dioxide is accepted by or acceptor is RUBP that is rubellose biphosphate and we are talking about the first carbon dioxide acceptor. In case of C4 plants, first carbon dioxide acceptor is phosphoenol pyruvate. But as we have seen the entire cycle, we know in C4 plants, carbon dioxide is accepted two times. First, in the mesophyll cells by phosphoenol pyruvate and next is in bundle sheet cells by SIN, that is RUBP. So here we will uh, specify that this is in mesophyll cells or it can also be termed as first carbon dioxide acceptor and carbon dioxide acceptor is RUBP that is in bundle sheet cells. So these are the acceptors. Then the first stable compound in C3 plants that first stable compound which is formed is phosphoglycerate or phosphoglyceric acid. Whereas here, the first stable compound which is formed is oxaloacetic acid. So let us write down the full form. Phosphoglycerate, which is a three carbon compound and so the name of the cycle as well as to the plants. This is oxaloacetic acid which is a 4 carbon compound and so the cycle is also known as C4 cycle and the plants are also known as C4 plants. The third point is about the types of chloroplast. In case of C3 plants, only granule chloroplasts are present and these chloroplasts are present in mesophyll cells. chloroplast in mesophyll cells. In C4 plants, there are two types of chloroplast. Granule and a granule. Granule chloroplasts are present in mesophyll cells and a granule are present in bundle sheet cells. So, in C4 plants, there are dimorphic chloroplasts. Cycles, that means which type of cycles are seen in these plants. In case of C3 plants, it is only C3 cycle, which we commonly call or know as the dark reaction. Whereas in C4 plants, both C4 and C3 cycles take place. C4 in mesophyll and C3 in bundle sheet cells. And then the site, where is the C3 cycle taking place? C3 cycle takes place in mesophyll cells. In case of C3 plants and in case of C4 plants, C3 cycle takes place in bundle sheet cells. So location is different and we now know why this location has been changed. It is to avoid that problem of photorespiration. Optimum temperature. C3 cycle normally takes place at 10 to 20 degrees Celsius. This is the optimum temperature. Whereas C4 cycle can take place at a higher temperature also that is around 30 degrees Celsius also because because of this modification or adaptation at higher temperature they would not suffer with the problem of photorespiration and that is why normal photosynthesis takes place at higher temperature also. In C3 plants 
the normal photosynthesis would take place at 10 to 20 degrees. If temperature increases, then there would be photorespiration. That is not the case in uh, C4 plants. Number of ATPs required for one glucose molecule to be synthesized. We saw in the cycle C3 cycle that there are 18 ATPs which are required. And in case of C4 plants, the number of ATPs required are 30. And just to have the breakup, 18 during C3 cycle and 12 during that extra pathway that is C4 pathway. And that's how there are 30 ATPs which are required. So number of ATPs required in C3 are 18, whereas in case of C4 plants are 30. So that is an expensive process. Enzymes. The enzymes which play an important role here in case of a C3 plants is one that is Rubisco. So Rubisco which is required and that is the one which helps in carboxylation of RUBP. There are other enzymes also which are required like NADP, reductase and all those. Here also the enzymes required are PEPCO which is PEP carboxylase. It will help in carboxylation of PEP and the other enzyme is Rubisco also which would help in addition of carbon dioxide to RUBP in bundle sheet cells. One more point where we can um, compare it is the place where oxygen is evolved though it is same. In case of C3 plants oxygen is evolved in mesophyll cells. Here also oxygen evolved is in mesophyll cells because granule chloroplast are in mesophyll and this is the place where uh, non-cyclic photophosphorylation would take place but because oxygen is evolved in mesophyll there is no oxygen in bundle sheet cell and that is why this rubisco can act as only carboxylase and not as oxygenase so these are certain points on which we can compare c3 and c4 plants the examples of c3 plants are most common plants which we see around us and C4, we have written the examples like maize, sugarcane, sorghum, euphorbia, etc. So, after understanding these two cycles, we can uh, easily uh, understand that these adaptations which are seen in C4 plants have helped them solve the problem of photorespiration. Similarly, there are some other plants and in those plants, there is a different mechanism to solve this problem of photorespiration. Those plants are called CAM plants, C-A-M, CAM plants. So we will talk about those plants.